Hello, hello, hello. Tanya's to roll. Welcome, 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 babies. If you're new here, welcome back. If you are returning, come on in, my loves. Like, subscribe, comment, share. Thank you guys in advance. All my information for personals or my other channels is down below. You already know what it is, my loves. Kick your feet up. Get your shit, get your shit, get your shit, and get comfortable. Because we're about to make it do what it do, loves. This is general and timeless, all signs, all placements, guys, okay? Heard a couple more shuffles, and we're going to jump into it, see what the message is for you guys, what you need to know. Pretty great, this is high, it's good. All signs, collective energies, and I do need them to jump on the spirit. Heard three, so let's see. We got two straight out the back. Give me one more, Holy Spirit. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to start here. There's someone here that's dealing with a lot of grief. Okay, um, this could be a feminine energy. A man or a woman in feminine energy that's dealing with a lot of grief right now. They've had to purge some things. Could have been with some emotions. They could have possibly had to let somebody go. But they're releasing Okay, they're, they're letting go of things that no longer serve them at this time, things that are not good for them. They're releasing someone that caused them some type of grief, hurt, or pain. And they're going through a metamorphosis. Somebody's going through a change. They no longer want to deal with the grief, the hurt, and the pain, so they're making the changes. They're purging. They're dealing with these emotions. They're facing these emotions so that they can make the change. Yeah, whatever the illusions were, they are now seeing the truth. They're seeing through the illusions. Uh, about a third party. Okay, so they're, they're releasing a third party. Or there's a third party in, in grief. Because somebody is letting them go and making some changes. So either take it as there's a third party that's in grief. Because someone is releasing them, purging them, no longer giving to them or letting them into their emotions and making a change because they're no longer trapped in the illusion or your person is in grief and they're releasing going through this change because they're releasing the third party they're tired of the grief clarify grief holy spirit They're watching. This could be the third party that's in grief and they're watching. They're watching this person release. They're watching this person heal and go through this change. There is somebody here that is not happy that somebody is making a change. That somebody released them and made a change. Somebody's not happy that you made a change in your life. Maybe you released them. And you, you went on the spiritual path. You started healing. And they watched you release this. This They re watched you heal. Are you not happy? Something's going on in the summertime. They could be watching right now. What if I purge? They learned a lesson. So this person has learned some type of kar karmic lesson. And they're now releasing the things that no longer serve them. And somebody is watching them. Yeah, because it came to an end. Somebody put an end. To, so I feel like they put an end to this third party situation. They learned the lesson. They are releasing this third party. And the third party is watching them. Make the change after leaving. Yeah, it was some type of deception here. Yeah, they're releasing. They're releasing this third party because they learned a lesson. And, and it's come to an end, the conclusion. And they're making this change. And it's the divine masculine. So this divine masculine... Has learned a lesson. 
and they are releasing the things that no longer serve them. And I feel like the third party is part of the things that no longer serve them. This third party caused this person a lot of grief. Taught them a lot of lessons here. Now this connection is coming to an end. And the third party is feeling grief. And they're sitting back watching this person purge, heal, go through a transformation. No longer stuck in their manipulation. No longer stuck in their mind game. Clarify this divine masculine for me, Holy Spirit. You make me want to be a better person. So you're making this divine masculine want to be a better person. That's why they're going through this metamorphosis. They want you to know they gave into temptation with the third party. They did. They gave into temptation with this third party. But you're making them want to be a better person. So they're doing the work. And now this third party is watching in disbelief. Sad. Clarify this grief. Clarify grief. Collective energies. Yes. Yeah. Now this third party is begging your person to forgive them. They don't. The third party doesn't want this person to go. But they're going to get to watch. They're going to get to watch this person move forward. Clarify courage. Yeah. The secrets and deception. So they're releasing this third party because the secrets and the deception have been revealed. And the third party is sad because this person is not trying to forgive them, not trying to hear it. It's over. The truth is coming out. Your person learned a lesson dealing with this third party. And now they're changing. This has come to an end. Clarify metamorphosis. Yeah, so this person, this third party, there could have been some type of lies and deception when it comes to finances, because finances were a problem. And it says, I pulled away because I'm overwhelmed with all the things going on in my life. So this person could have pulled away from you and went towards this third party because of money. They had a lot going on, they had some financial issues, and they felt like this third party could help them with this because the third party was telling them that they could, but it was lies, it was secrets, it was deception. Now that your person has learned this lesson and sees the truth, this third party is begging, but they they, they sitting back watching, because I feel like they could be blocked, clarify observer. Yeah, it was a one-sided relationship. Your person was the only one giving to this connection. But the third party feels like your person was the person of their dreams. Yeah. So your person learned the lesson. They realize they still have some growing to do. And that's why they're purging and releasing. Yeah, they felt like they were not good enough for you. So they went towards this third party. And it was a one-sided relationship. They gave into the temptation. Clarify conclusion. Clarify an illusion. Conclusion. Okay. And this is the end of the third party. This is the end. Conclude conclusion. They do nothing but fight and argue. It was all based on sex. And this third party is trying to work things out. But your person's over it. This third party could be trying to tell this person that they love them and that they're sorry. And they feel terrible for hurting them. But your person is telling them, I can't give you what you need. They're, they're walking away from this third party. And the crazy thing is, this person now wants to come towards you, collective, and tell you that they love you. That they're sorry. And they feel terrible for hurting you. Yeah. They also want to tell you that they do dive in and out of relationships. Because they were dealing with their own issues. But they're growing now. They're going through a transformation. Okay. 
Yeah, they could. They, they went through a spiritual awakening. The hair are finding the four swords. Yeah, they're seeing. They're, they're like in hermit mode. They're healing. They're going through like a dark night of the soul right now. They're out the way. They see you as their wish fulfillment. They know it was a lot of delays. They now want to come in and invest. They want to pour into you. Yeah, they want to pass you a new beginning. They're praying that they can have this pass you a new beginning with you. But they know they have to put an end to the third party to come have the pass you a new beginning. They are afraid that you may feel like they're only coming in to have a good time and not a long time. But they are coming in wanting something long term. They were juggled by this third party. Yep, and they had a lot of burdens. This third party gave them a, oh, a whole half of the deck fell. Hold on, y'all. Yeah, it's a lot too. Uh, we got here. Yeah, they walked away for happiness. They want to come back towards you because they see you as the Queen of Wands here. Okay, confident, beautiful, spiritual, handsome. They're hoping that luck is in their favor because they see you as their wish fulfillment. They know that you may be angry or upset and holding back, but they're praying for reconciliation. They know it took them a while to come bring you this offer, but they're coming. They're coming. That was the whole story right there, y'all. Fell on the floor. Yep. And then I cut on eight of wands. Sometimes they're walking away and coming towards you with communication. You may be seeing eight, 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 maybe significant confirmation if you've been seeing eight, eights that this could possibly be your story. Clarify grief. Yeah. This third party angry. They're angry. Because this person has turned their back on them. They're upset. It did not work out. Clarify purge. Yep. They're angry. This person wants a new beginning. And taking a leap of faith. Away from them. And that they're actually doing the work. Metamorphosis changing. Changing for you. Collective. Yeah, because they see a future for you. See a future with you. Clarify observer. Yeah. And this third party is watching this person come towards you, travel towards you. They're angry because they're going to have to sit back and watch. And they're still in love with this person, your person. Clarify lessons. Yeah, this person learned a bunch of lessons. They were betrayed, stabbed in the back up to 10 times. Clarify conclusion. Yeah. And they're headed back towards you. They both came out crossing. They're headed back towards you uh, for reconciliation. Because they see you as their soulmate, two of cups. You guys have an unbreakable bond. That's why they're going through the metamorphosis. This will be in the future, though. Yeah, they, they may feel like you may not want them back because you may be thinking that they're lying, sneaky, or deceptive. Or they could be trying to sneak their way back into in, trying to find a way to sneak back into you. Clarify that divine masculine. Yeah, this is your lover. They realize they, they made the wrong choice in lovers. And they choose you, babies. They gave into temptation. But they want to be a better person, so they're doing the work. That one on top. Yep, this King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Energy. Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. They see you guys as this abundant family situation. They see you as a power couple. They see you as their counterpart. And now they want to come pour into you. Yeah, they know they broke your heart with the third party situation. They got heartbroken too. Yeah. This, this coming to an end. This transformation. Yeah. They, they they had to get their heart broken so that they could go through this transformation. So that they would sit down and heal. It had to go just like this. Yeah. For you guys to have a passionate new beginning, it had to go just like this. There had to be competition. There had to be a third party. Yeah, you had to be juggled. The Spirit says that's the true face of swords. Yeah. The illusion had to be there so that this person would go put the work in somewhere else. 
so that he can get his judgment. So that he can go through the spiritual awakening, or so she can go through the spiritual awakening, so that there could be a happy family situation here between you and them. So there could be emotional fulfillment. And they're coming in with honest communication. Collective read for or about first card out Leo. What is this read for or about? Libra. Somebody may have ills in their name. Water signs Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. First letter or last name. I heard that, so I repeated it. We got Pisces. Could be a Pisces. Dealing with a Pisces. Collective energies. We have Capricorn. We have Air, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. We have Aries. Okay, so we have Aquarius. And Fire, Leo, Aries, Sag. Bottom of the deck, we have Sagittarius. On the cut, we have Taurus. So Pisces, Aquarius, Aries, Libra, Leo, Capricorn, Sagittarius, and Taurus are the zodiac signs that are out. But we also have Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and Leo, Aries, Sagittarius as well. Okay, babies? So if this resonates with you guys, let me know. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. Until next time, you keep rocking with me. I'm going to keep rocking with you. Love, light, and peace. Bye, my TT babies.